Hey guys, what's up? It is Spurly, and uh, I have a gameplay uh, commentary. But um, uh, it's above average game for me, uh, 53 and 11. But, uh, you know, like always, and what everyone does is I'm not going to talk about the gameplay, but instead it'd be a backdrop for something else I'm going to say. Um, uh, yeah, excuse me. Uh, so, um, just really, uh, I don't, did I have anything in this? Okay. Yeah, I've tried doing this commentary so many different times. Like, I get, I do the whole thing, and then, or like, a, there's like a minute left, or ten seconds left, or I've gone over the time, and just, I just realized, what, what am I, what am I saying? And like, who cares? I mean, I mean, like, ugh, like, why am I talking about this? Who, 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 who asked me to say something like this? And it was just like a really crappy commentary, and I was, ugh, I was all, ugh. and I keep making this ugh sound as if you know what I'm saying. But anyway, uh, I just got watching. Uh, I just got done watching Louis. Uh, if you don't watch that, it's about this uh, comedian, Louis C. Louis C. K. or Louis C. K. And it's it's not like it's just just like his TV show, and you know, and I, and I like that. It's not like the standard everybody loves Raymond sitcom. It's it's like he actually talks about shit that people care about. And it's not like it's not it's not like the TV show is like the equivalent of rap for Eminem. Like Eminem's always like, "Oh, my daughter Haley is gone, and I'm gone, and I'm going back to heroin and drugs, and I'm getting addicted to the pills." That sounded more like Bill Cosby. But anyway, so like Eminem just kind of just says the same stuff over and over again, and Louis like talks about stuff. I'm like, I'm not being like, "Yeah, man, you talk about real life problems," but like he talks about things that like like he just talks about like that are interesting and that people want to hear about and uh, and in like uh in like uh ugh, and, and you know school started back up like this is the first uh first week it's just finished and and i have this class and they we're talking about how we're gonna like how the teacher was says that you know he doesn't want you know you don't there's no need to lay out plans for your life um you know there's you know you're gonna live to be around 80 years old and you got 70 years to figure out what you're gonna do in life and, uh, you know, I was just thinking about that. It's like the hardest question you will ever be asked in life is what do you want to do when you grow up? It's like, what do you want to do for the rest of your life? What do you want to, like, leave your mark on the world with? It's like, what are you going to do? And, I, like, what is going on? And this is kind of strange because all this is, like, the Louie episode, what we were talking about in that class. And it's... Um, okay, I didn't explain at all what the episode of Louie was about. The episode of Louie was, uh, well, the second one was about how, uh, like, his friend that he used to start out with as a comedian came to visit him, and, um, and, uh, you know, he, you know, he hadn't seen him for a long time, and his life was just, like, the comedian's life was just so shitty, and he was, you know, he was all, ugh, like, anti-establishment of, like, comedy, like, uh, he was giving him shit for, like, working in a comedy club, and... He was like, comedy clubs is where comedy goes to die. And he's saying all these things like that. And he doesn't like comedy clubs. And, you know, he doesn't think it's a real comedy. And it's, and he was going to kill himself because his life like, was so... He was going to take two, like, a couple, like, sleeping pills. They're like these pills that will just... If you take two, you, you'll die. And just these really powerful pills because, you know, he was having a terrible life. And Lewis was like, that's life. The only, like, life sucks for everyone. And, like, I've been thinking about that recently, and it's weird that I saw that on an episode of Louie, but it's, like, life sucks. Like, up until recently, you didn't even get to marry someone you loved. Like, for the past hundred years, love is a new invention. Like, marriages were prearranged for, you know, years before the 19th century. And, you know, like, centuries before the 19th century, even. Like, you didn't even get to marry someone you loved. Like... And you died at like 30, and it's depressing. Like, you are born, you get old enough to work, and then you die. And it's just like, what, what is this? Why am I here? And it's like, you ask like deep questions, and you don't know what's going on, and I'm very confused right now. And I'm sure you guys have no idea what I'm, what I'm going on and on and on about, but like in my mind, this is, this is like, how do people not think about this stuff? Like, what am I going to do with my life? Like, what is, whoa, that's the only description I have of what is going on. Like, what am I going to do with life? What is life? And, it, and I'm not talking about, like, on a scientific debate level or religion level. It's like, what, what am I going to do here? What am I going to do on planet Earth? 
and and it's like I don't mean that in like a religion a religious a religious way or a scientific way or anything like that. Just what am I gonna do when I get done with high school or college? Like what do you what do you do? Like you get a job and then you work for the rest of your life and you die. And, and it's depressing. I no oh my this is this is the only thing that I've been more sure about. I've, no, that's, there's nothing I've been more sure about. This is the only thing I've been sure about in my life, is that life will suck and you will die at the end of it. And you don't even know what's going to happen to you when you die. Like, you're going to die, and then, like, the best thing that could happen to you is you live forever somewhere else. And assuming that that's, like, your religion or something. But, like, like, the best thing that could happen to you is you live forever. Like, what, oh, what, what's going on? Like, I don't... Like I don't, I don't, I don't like talking about certain topics in commentaries and politics, religion, and anything that is personal effects to any more than like a group of people. I just like talking about things in general, and I don't like talking about religion. But like the best thing that happens to you when you die, like if you're if you're a dick in life, like you might end up as like a like a like a penis or like a cockroach or just something terrible in the next time you live. And like the thing about it is like I can't even say that that's fact. Like, when you die, there's no 100% way to know what's happening. And, like, like sometimes I've thought, like, what would happen if I killed myself? Like, I'm not saying, like, I want to kill myself, but, like, if like, what happens when I die? Like, it's more of a, like, I'm thinking about, like, what, what happens to me when I die. Not like I actually want to kill myself, because I, I don't. I don't. Because I'm, I'm at the best part of my life. I'm at the part where it doesn't suck and I don't die. There's three parts. It doesn't suck, it sucks, and, it, and then you die. And I'm at the best part of life. And I have... Oh, this is this is so deep. I don't know what's going on. Like, the thing is, right now in my mind, I feel like I am making... Like, everybody... I feel like in my mind, the best thing that could happen with this commentary, everyone's like, oh my god. Life sucks. He's right. But I'm thinking you guys are all just like, what is he saying? I have no idea what is going on. And that is a completely natural reaction to what I'm saying. I, uh, I just have, it's just this mind bottling, and this is the perfect place for me to talk about things like that, because the great thing about what I do on this is I make videos, people, and talk, and people want to talk about them. And this is, this is the perfect thing for me to, you know, voice my opinion. Is this where I leave my mark? Is this where I leave my mark as a person who talks to someone? Like. Is if this is the if this is the most successful thing I do in my life, having a YouTube channel, that's not even popular, like that most people don't even know the name of, is that the best thing I'm gonna be able to do with my life? And the hardest thing in my life that I've ever had to do or think about was think about or you know plan what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. Like in ever since ever since you can remember, people have been asking you, "What do you want to be when you grow up?" And then when you get to elementary school. They, they ask you what you want to be when you grow up. And then when you get to high school, they make you take classes based on what you want to be when you grow up. And in college, they have career counselors. And you take classes, and you learn about what you're going to do for the rest of your life. And you pay back student loans, and the man gets... Oh, no, I'm just kidding with the man part. <laughs> no, but seriously, like... And the funny thing is, like, just quick about touch about the student loans thing is, like... Uh, there's, like, a lot of uh, evidence. Or not evidence, but um, a lot of things that, when you put them together and think about it, is, like like the, the the like the education system like a like there's not like I, I, it is kind of a conspiracy but at the same time there's some that it could hold a little bit of water uh and it's like the education system and uh you know the banks or i guess the loan people would, are set up to uh you know make you in debt your whole life and always paying money to someone and uh you know with interest you you could very well be paying student loans for your entire life if, like if you become a doctor and you don't do like the military to help pay for it like if you don't join the man and kill other people, <laughs> like you're you will be paying for education your whole life. But uh, that's just my little uh, tidbit of conspiracy. I've talked about many things that um that I would never want to talk about on my YouTube channel, and maybe I will start to talk about them because they're interesting. And um, you know, like I, as many commentaries as I can do, I can't guarantee they'll be all interesting. But even I don't know what you guys will think of it. But in my mind, this has been the most the best thing I've ever talked about on this channel. Like, I've never talked about, <clears throat> like, a more important or, like, something that everybody, you know, likes to talk about. Like, in my mind, I'm excited right now after doing this. Like, I feel good. 
talking about this and maybe i should start talking about things like you know religion and politics and things like that uh you know because you know maybe that's what you guys want to hear i don't know but i have a feeling i'm going deeper than you know i ever were, was going to in my channel or anything like that so um i don't know i <laughs> i don't know i have I, have I said anything? Because the thing is, if I end the commentary, like uh, like when I end this commentary, I just think I'm, I'm going to think of so many things right when I'm done. And there's no way to possibly incorporate every single thing I want to talk about in one video. Even if I run out of things to talk about, I still will have something I want to say. Oh, I put way too much thought and effort into this. Ugh, anyway. So I, uh, I guess for the last little bit, uh, last 10 points of the domination game, I'll talk about, um, you know, just the game in Black Ops in general. But, uh, so, um, I, it's so hard to transition from what I just talked about to talking about a video game. It just seems so minuscule compared to every, everything in the world. But anyway, this game, I am no longer going to kill anyone or die anyone in this game. And, uh, it's over. And, uh, I got a couple Blackbirds, I think, like, three of them. Anyway, this game's over. This commentary's over. And, uh, wow. That's all I can say. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, guys.